month. The 2021 South Dakota legislative session will begin, and there is a record number of women elected to serve in the legislature. Calvin's Lauren Solick brings you thoughts from three of them. 30 women were elected to the South Dakota State Legislature this year, surpassing the last record of 26 set in the early 90s. Nine of those women will be serving their first terms in 2021, including Representatives Jennifer Kintz and Bethany Soy. That's uh, a lot to be proud of, and uh, I'm glad to be a part of that, that group of women in our legislature. I think it's important to have perspectives that come from a variety of backgrounds and having women in the legislature, women there where our laws and decisions are being made is, is a really important thing. I'm just really excited to get to know them and to get to work. I mean, especially there are several young women that are about the same age as me, so I'm really excited to be there with them. Kainz and Soy believe having more women in the legislature could offer some new perspectives during session. Just naturally, men and women are going to have different perspectives on things, and I think that's going to bring just a, a different view on a lot of issues into the legislature. Especially the other young women, uh, because we have a lot to balance with home and family and working at the same time. I know in the past it's been a lot of retired or self-employed individuals, and I think we're starting to see um, some kind of traditional employed people go to the legislature. Senator Jean Hunhoff, though, is not new. She's been serving as a legislator for 21 years. You know, I, I look at what we have seen over the course of the years, and women have moved up in leadership. I really hope we can do more in that. She offers two pieces of advice to the newly elected women. Listen and develop trust. I think I want to hopefully encourage those women to Start following a path and, and working together collectively, and it's about bringing that broad background and that thinking process to the legislature and how we can move up in some of those leadership positions. There were nine women elected to the Senate and 21 elected to the House. Lauren Solick, Kelloland News. I love that aerial footage of the Capitol. The legislative session begins on January 12th. A